In another major story today, the U.S. Supreme Court cleared a path for an expansion of same-sex marriage. The justices let stand several appeals court rulings, and as a result, same-sex marriage will soon be legal in 11 additional states, bringing the total to 30, plus the District of Columbia. Here's Chief Legal Correspondent Jan Crawford. Same-sex couples from Indiana to Oklahoma to Virginia were able to marry today just hours after the Supreme Court said it would not intervene. You may kiss your bride. The justices gave no explanation for why they declined to get involved. But for the past decade, the court has been laying the groundwork with other rulings protecting gay rights. No! Led by swing justice Anthony Kennedy, the court last year granted federal benefits to legally married gay and lesbian couples. The ruling prompted conservative justice Antonin Scalia to make a prediction, writing in dissent, how easy it is, indeed how inevitable, for lower courts to take the next bold step and strike down bans on same-sex marriage. Scalia's prediction was right. Appeals courts so far have unanimously ruled the Constitution prohibits states from treating gays and lesbians differently than heterosexual couples. Today's order does not legalize same-sex marriage nationwide, but instead leaves the issue for lower courts to decide. Now that would change if other lower courts that are now considering this issue, say in Louisiana and Ohio, were to reach a different conclusion. Then the Supreme Court really would have no choice but to step in and resolve that conflict and decide, Scott, once and for all, if same-sex marriage is legal across America. Jen Crawford, outside the U.S. Supreme Court. Jen, thank you.